You're kidding. Nah, I actually put a Swifty on God. I said I had this 17 cents and I needed to pay it in urgently. But I didn't know where it should go. It was a long shot, but it worked. According to God, all 17 cent payments automatically go to a company called Comquest. And there's a lot of deductions going on. Sure sounds like it. Our computer's malfunctioned. They're going to have to promote me just to shut me up. Harv, listen. That money isn't going to Comquest by accident. It's deliberate. It's got to be. I reckon someone's doctored the program. That'd be fraud. Yeah. And if it's coming from your department, they're not going to promote you for pointing it out. Found out what I could about Comquest. Took a lot of ringing around. Most of the info's been deleted. I made a minor corporate affairs to check through their old microfish. It's the address of the head office. Ring a bell? It's Beth Haven Hospital. Yep. Your department's computer is taking 17 cents from thousands of clients and paying it all to Beth Haven. This is too fast. She's been moved to the Home of Compassion. Why? Broke her hip, poor dear. She's in intensive care right now. No visitors allowed. But I'm sure she'd love some flowers. Thank you. Hey, Misty. now and the Aussie dollar performed well today breaking the 69 cent barrier against the greenback for the first time this year. The all ordinaries was up more than eight points as were industrial stocks although it was a disappointing day for resources. Overseas the Nikkei dropped nine points a short time. Excuse me, that's my desk. You must be the temp. I'm Lydia Wilde, ex-lotteries. I've packed your things. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I chipped your Pope Paul mug, I'm afraid. Oh, and you can have the lamp if you like. I don't use them, they're carcinogenic. I think this is for you. Fisheries? Oh, they can't do that, it's the pits. The board's decision can't be questioned. I'm sorry. Well, it's against union policy. I have to be consulted. But tell them you're the rep. They've done this because of the 17 cents. It's medley, you squealed. No harm, honest. You I... told them everything, didn't you? I could take a leg. See you, mate.
go home, half. Another special. Lunch is over. I have to do the tea rounds. Another special. This is the last. You're crazy to drink it. It's eating through the box. Hey, it's not so bad in fisheries. You get to go out on the trawler sometimes. It's the black hole of the service. They send you there before they retrench you. Who's been telling you that? There are heaps of guys in fisheries who've worked there for years. They love it so much that they never want to leave. Oh, come on, half. Cheer up. It's not the end of the world. Let them try and send me to fisheries. I'm gonna join the Masons. They always get the good jobs. Learn the handshake. Wear an apron. Seat of wisdom. Mystical rose. God, could I use a good Masonette? Tower of Ivory, Pray for us. House of Gold. Pray for us. Disgracing me on my Parish 2000 night. How could you do this to me, Harvey? My one big chance to be in the Catholic Weekly and you come home drunk to the eyeballs. Oh, I'd better run fisheries and say you've got the flu. going on, don't you? About the 17 cents. Forget about it, mate. It's not the first time the computer screwed up. Look, Smed, what have you heard? I've heard you're getting paranoid. Look, you're in fisheries now, remember? The nets come in a few sardines short, fine. Kick up a fuss. But leave the trust department alone. Or you'll never be made a permanent. <laughs> Minister. Working late, aren't you? <laughs> What's your name? Harvey McHugh. Your ID. Don't I know you from somewhere? We went to school together. At what level are you now? I'm a temporary clerk. I was a grade one too, but my job got abolished. And why is an ungraded clerk accessing God? That's a confidential data system. Take him to security. Come. Minister, wait. I'm here because I found a fraud in trusts. That's one of my portfolio. I know. And why haven't you reported it? I tried, but no one believes me. The computer in trusts is taking 17 cents from pensions and paychecks all over the place. How did you discover this? A psychiatric patient. 
She complained and I followed it up. By yourself? <laughs> A huge department and only you noticed. Heads will roll over this. I promise you, Henry. Harvey, sir. Harvey McHugh. Say when. There. Thank you. This is terrific. <laughs> After a while, it's just another office. That's the young Matildans. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, you were saying about the money. Oh, it, it all gets paid to a company called Comquest. Uh, their headquarters is at Beth Haven Hospital. Yeah, that's right. How did you know that? Oh, good Lord. If the press get hold of this, I hope I can trust you, Harvey. I don't understand. Comquest is owned by a, a Dr. Voisner, our chief medical officer. You see, a lot of his patients uh, have thinning bones, uh, osteo or something. Porosis, sir. Well, the calcium tablets they take are very expensive, and he's found a way of manufacturing them cheaply. For 17 cents a fortnight. Exactly. I approved the deduction myself. <sighs> then the program has made a mistake. Hmm. He's had the computer take money from everyone. But thank goodness I've got people like you on my staff. Thank you, sir, but actually they've moved me. Because of this? Oh, I wonder why I bother sometimes. You kill yourself getting into government and morons end up running a department. The finest minds of the ancient world couldn't make democracy work, so I don't suppose I should expect public servants to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really shouldn't. I have... Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. So, tomorrow, contact personnel, and if there's any problems, you tell them to ring me. Thank you, Minister. I will. Good night. Yes, good night. I don't believe it. I do not believe it, St. Jude, you beauty. <laughs> Any problems? No. Good. I might send you away for a couple of weeks till things settle down a bit. The Bahamas are nice at this time of year. Oh my God. They're finished early. Oh, come on then, we can squeeze one more in. Come on.
The damnation of Harvey McHugh will continue on Thursday because tomorrow we'll have live coverage of the US presidential election. And tonight it was hailed as one of the most amazing scientific discoveries in decades. A startling new view of human evolution that split the world of anthropology. Discover the real implications in The Hobbit Enigma. 8.30 tonight on ABC One.